Guys, welcome back to another episode of our mini series with Jason Mark. We're here in Carnaby Street's drop off location, and today our episode covers the tools. When I was a kid, it was always a toothbrush, but we've leveled up now, so let's go. Talk me through this. What have we got here, man? Cool. So, uh, we have here standard brush, which comes with acrylic bristles. So this is the more coarse brush out of the two brushes. We used that one on the last episode, right? Yes. This is designed to clean most standard materials, which are durable, like synthetic leathers, uh, midsoles, rubbers, you know, anything that is very sturdy, you use the standard brush. Uh, for anything else more delicate, we have the premium brush, which comes with hog hair bristles. Uh, so this is designed to foam up the solution six to seven times more than the standard brush. The way the solution works is the more it foams up, the more get dirt gets brought to the surface, so then the more thorough the clean. So this brush itself is actually designed to clean anything delicate. So like on the curries, the sway panels, the new buck panels, the mesh, you can hit it with this brush and not be afraid of damaging it at all. And last but not least, we have the sway kit cleaner. This is one of my favorites as well. It's aided me a long way since I started using Jason Mark. Um, so this is horsehair bristle brushes. So you can see it's quite dense compared to the rest of them. However, you only use this brush dry. Um, so you use it to dust off literally the surface dirt on all suede. Start from the top, dry brush it down first like we did in the last episode. Use the suede kit cleaner and just thoroughly brush down everywhere, you know, around the mesh areas. If you give them a thorough scrub, you'll see that instantaneously a lot more of the whiteness comes back just from dry brushing it. Uh, like I explained last time as well, why it's important is That's something exactly. So you don't want to over wet the material to then trap the dirt back inwards. So by dry brushing it first, that eliminates that first kind of barrier you need to jump over. So after that, um, I'd go for the standard brush on the midsole. And if you wanted to clean the undersole as well, it'd be ideal to whack that out really quickly, especially with the grooves in the Air Max One you'll definitely get a good clean out of that with the more coarse bristles on the acrylic brush or the standard brush as we say. Um, and then finally, when it comes to deep cleaning the upper after you've dry brushed it and you've cleaned the mids as well, I'd say probably use the premium brush just because like I said earlier, the bristles won't damage the shoe. And this does foam up the solution a lot more than the standard brush does. So when coming to clean it, um, all you need to do, dip it into the water as you would but when cleaning anything delicate or multi-paneled or multi-materials, shaking it off is probably one of the most important things. So, same again as before, four to five drops of solution directly on the brush. So again, we're using the premium brush here, which we suggest grabbing to do anything suede, soft leather, anything flying delicate, it. yeah. Yeah, flying it, prime it, a lot of those questions come through, you know, or can this clean? I was like, you know, the solution is clean. It's designed to clean all types of materials, but you know, it's the brush that you use that's most important. So after you put the solution on the brush, lightly dab it back in again, this time shake it off quite thoroughly. Maybe even run your thumb through it. Through that, you'll get a good kind of distribution of the water and the solution across the brush. And when coming to clean it, you know, even on the areas around here, you want it to foam up just really, really quickly. So you see it foams up. So if I used the standard brush, say on this upper or like a flannet shoe, what would that do? Well, what you would end up doing that be is, good for it, right? yeah, you would end up damaging okay. the material, yeah. Finally, the most important thing that comes after that is the microfiber cloth. So this will aid you in the process of cleaning the suede and not over wetting it. So what I normally suggest to all Kind of customers and people using the product as well you know try and clean it section by section no matter what the material is okay. just in case if you don't know if the color bleeds or if you've got a more delicate material or light material you don't want it to cross over you've said that to me in the past as well like yeah. do almost like a test section yeah yeah so always test it out first as you can see with minimal color loss there is some color loss you know that does happen with pigment dyed materials 
So when you've got the microfiber towel over the section that I've already cleaned with the premium brush, literally just rub it back and forth to try and literally absorb as much moisture away from the material as possible. This is why the microfiber towel is so important. So whilst you're doing that as well, you'll realize as much as you're absorbing the moisture, a lot of the dirt gets attracted away from delicate materials onto the towel. So I do this throughout the whole shoe section by section and then hit, hit the mesh as well. Um, obviously with this shoe itself, um, particularly the suede on this is very vibrant. So a lot of color will come off if you over wet the material. So make sure that you clean it section by section and let it dry thoroughly. Um, I'd say probably at least four to five hours of solid drying. Mostly I say 24 hours to be safe. You know, once it's done, then you retreat it again with the suede brush. What's this little thing here? So that's a crepe eraser. So this is made out of crepe rubber, you know, the same type of rubber that's on the sole of a wallaby. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is designed to literally grip the dirt away from the material, specifically suede. Mm -hmm. It can work on new bucks as well. Um, so this basically allows you to kind of bring the colour back without having to wet the material. Well, I guess because crepe rubber is sticky, right? So obviously use this rubber with the same force as you would use it erasing a piece of paper. Mm. You know, you don't want to rip the paper during the process of erasing. So I'd say use even amounts of strength going back and forth and don't overdo it. And always, always, always make sure the suede is thoroughly dry before you do so. Because the last thing you want to do is take fibres away from the suede whilst it's wet. Um, and literally, this would be the preliminary stage before you go in for a deep clean on suede in general. You'd alternate between the crepe rubber and the suede brush to get like best results. To finish up this episode, I have three questions. Yeah, go on. What's the difference between a microfiber towel and just a standard bath towel? Well, because I've used a bath towel before. I don't know if you remember when microfiber towels were first like introduced. They, they automatically attract a lot of dirt onto the cloth. Whilst on a cotton cloth, you probably won't get that. Another thing is as well, the microfiber cloth is when you come to cleaning, you don't get loose bits that fall off the towel that will okay. adhere to the shoe. So during the cleaning process, whether the material is wet or dry, you won't have excess material attracted to the shoe. This particular microfiber towel, that's a lot of research and development went into it. So this microfiber towel actually holds seven times the water weight. So when saying that as well, when it comes to absorbing and trying to dry your shoes as you clean it as thoroughly as possible, this does adhere like, and helps so much. That's a powerful so, towel. So, so much. Powerful yeah. towel. Question number two, brush care. Brush care. Like, what, what gives them the long, longest length of life? Well, I'd, I personally say always rinse them out thoroughly just with like cool water, mm -hmm. you know, tap water. Just rinse them out thoroughly, run your fingers through the brush just to get the solution out of it. Another thing as well is try not to over wet the, the backing of the brush. Okay. And what that does is it will, it will give the longevity of the wood. Because obviously when water hits the wood for too much, it expands. Last question, how often should I replace a brush? The thing is, if you do purchase both for the brushes, you're in for the long run. Okay. The thing is, is if you only went for the premium brush and you used that on the midsoles as well, you'll wear down the brush a lot quicker. So having both, both have their designated jobs and both will assist you for a long time before it starts wearing down. Perfect. Well, that's all my questions, man. Okay, this has been the second episode. Um, next time we're gonna be covering suede. So that's a very special one. We get a lot of questions about that. Um, I've been Morgan, my guy Jeff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.